Today's video is designed to show you how the new course mapping feature works with the new ZBox and version 8 software. Using this feature, you do not require magnets or the Smart Timer magnet sensor. So to get started, you have to find the course mapping feature in the screen, which is simply one, uh, one of the event modes next to slalom, jump, trick, etc. So highlight the menu arrow, press the up key, you'll see where slalom, jump, and trick is. Keep going through the list and you'll come to map courses. Press the up key and you'll see where Perfect Pass gives you the ability to map up to three different courses. So we're going to map two today, so we will press the up key to select course number one. And you'll now, now see where we have entry one and entry two. So what you're going to do now is drive your boat towards the course at idle speed. And as the boat passes through the entrance gates, when the entrance gates are parallel to the engine box or pylon area, basically the center of the boat, you will press the up key. You'll notice the system beeps for a couple of seconds and the coordinates for that entry location are now locked in memory. So you have now fixed the location for entry number one coming from that one direction. Now you can just drive the boat to the other end of the course and we're going to do the same thing from the other direction. We will idle the boat back into the course through the entrance gates and once again as the entrance buoys pass the pylon or center part of the boat we will now press the down key. Once again the system beeps and you'll notice the coordinates from the entrance point from the other direction is now locked into memory. Essentially course number one is now mapped forever. If you made a mistake or you want to do it again you can simply go back through and press the up key at the entrance from one direction or the down key from the other direction and it will override those original entry points. But if you did it well and you're comfortable, those, uh, those coordinates for, in, for map number one are now complete forever. So we're ready to move on. Press the menu button, you're back to the main screen with course number one now mapped. Use your menu button and we're now going to map course number two. So I'll press the up key to select. And now we're going to head to the uh, south uh, course on our lake. And here we go, we're heading towards the entrance gates. As I pass through, I'll press the up key. Entry one is now complete. We'll drive the boat to the other end of the course. And then once again, we will idle back through and into the course. And as we pass through the entrance gates and they're parallel to the pylon, we will press the down key Course number two is now fully mapped and ready to go. If you want to return to the main screen, just use your menu button, highlight the menu arrow, press the up key, which means I want to return, and we can go back to slalom. We're back to slalom cow mode. You can do a pass or two through the course, check your baselines, and uh, once your baselines are com completely uh, reset, you can go to GPS slalom, and away you go.